Hello and welcome to Pacific Northwest Ballet's Community Education Video Learning Series. My name is Shannon. I'm a teaching artist with PNB Community Education Programs. Um, I've maybe danced with some of you in your school before. Maybe this is the first time we're dancing together. Um, with me today is Adam. Say hello to Adam. Hi, Adam. Um, and we are here in Pacific Northwest Ballet's rehearsal studios. So glad you're here uh, joining us today. Our lesson will have four parts. Um, part one will be a warm up to get our brains and bodies ready to move. Part two will have a big idea and a movement activity. Part three will be a chance for you to create your own dance. And part four will be a cool down and a goodbye. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, as we warm up, let's start by checking that we have a clear floor and safe space around us to move for our warm up. Um, Adam's going to play some music and you are invited to follow me. Your movements might look different in your body, but you can follow um, my body and Adam's music as we warm up. Here we go. We'll stand nice and tall. And we'll start by taking some deep breaths in. Next up is part 
two, our big idea and movement activity. It's time for our big idea. Our big idea is the most important thing I want you to remember uh, from our lesson today, the thing we're kind of focusing on. So our big idea today is up here. Our big idea is we are dancers. Dancers can control being on or off balance. We're going to explore some different ways we can balance and different things we can do to make our balances more or less on balance or stable. So first, let's try just balancing on different body parts. We have all these different body parts um, we can use. I'm gonna call out some body parts for you to try. You are welcome to try the parts I'm calling out or you're welcome to experiment with your own body parts and do what's best for your body. You know best what works for you. So, I'm just gonna play some music. I'll call out a body part. We're gonna try to make a stable, on balance shape. So let's start with a, a balance on two feet. We do this a lot. We balance on two feet a lot. I can make different shapes with my upper body, but I'm still on my two feet. Let's change it to one foot. That makes it a little bit trickier. I'm gonna balance, see if I can be stable. Let's try our back. It's a pretty big body part. We can go on our back and we can balance in different ways. On our back. Good. Let's try one hand and one foot. Hmm. body parts that are touching the floor. We call these points of balance. The body parts that are touching the floor are the points our body is balancing. So let's count and see if we can um, try a balance that has four points of balance. So we're going to try maybe two feet and two hands. And if I spread these out, I'm pretty stable. What would happen if we took away one point of balance and we had points of balance. I have two feet and one hand. Let's try taking away another point of balance. I'm back to two points of balance. Take away another point of balance. I'm at one point of balance on one foot. Here's an extra challenge. What happens if your one point of balance gets smaller? So what if we rise up to our tiptoes and we have just a tiny little point of balance, our body part touching the floor. Whew, it gets a little bit harder, doesn't it? All right, we are going to try making balance shapes with me calling out a number of body parts, a number of points of balance. So if I say the number three, you would choose three body parts to touch the floor and support your balance. All right, we'll try this with some music with Adam. So let's actually start with the number five. See if you can count. I've got one, two, three, four, five points of balance. Good, let's change and have three points of balance. Any three body parts you want. One point. 
points of balance. You'll have to count them carefully. Six points of balance. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six points of balance. How about two points of balance? Woo! Four points of balance. and stable? When did you feel the most off balance and wobbly? Did balancing on some body parts feel more stable than others? I know for me, when I was balancing on my one back that's pretty big, that felt more stable than balancing on my one foot that's pretty small. The number of balance points we use and the size of those body parts can affect how stable we may feel in our balance. All right, now we've explored making some on-balance shapes. Let's move on to part three of our lesson where we get to use what we learned to create. All right, let's create. Today, we're gonna make a dance with a pattern. Our pattern is going to go a stable balance shape and then a move to change into another balance shape and then a changing movement and then a third balanced shape. You will get to create three of your own stable on balance shapes and then between each shape, you'll find a way to maybe melt or tip or gently fall or roll off balance as you change into your next balanced shape. Adam's gonna help us with some music. We'll try this a couple times so you have a, a chance to get used to the pattern. So let's think about our first balance shape. Find a balance shape where you are stable, and then uh, we'll hear Adam give us a warning, and then we'll start holding our shape. All right, here we go. Take three deep breaths to cool down after all of our dancing today. Deep breath in and let it out. Getting that oxygen back in our bodies. In, out. Last one. And out. All right. Before we say goodbye, let's revisit our big idea for today. Our big idea, we are dancers. Dancers can control being on or off balance. 
pause for a moment and think to yourself or share with somebody near you, um, when did you feel the most on balance and stable today in your dancing? What were you doing? You can just think to yourself. Um, and after the video is over, feel free to continue to practice your balance shape pattern dance that you created today. Um, that's something you can do on your own or teach to somebody in your house or try with different music. Um, so thank you for joining us today. Um, to close our lesson, we're gonna say thank you with our body. I'll share two ways that I like to say thank you. You can choose which one you want to use to say thank you to each other and thank you to Adam. So the first way I like to say thank you is based on American Sign Language, saying thank you. Or another way to say thank you with our bodies is we could take a bow with our arms up and folding over. So choose the way you're gonna say thank you and when I count down from three, we'll all thank each other for our work today. Three, two, one, thank you. All right, we'll see you later.